Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 11.2, Problem 7. This is section 11.2, problem number 7. It says consider the function f of x equals x plus 5 when the input is smaller than 4, the output is 10 minus x when the input is equal to 4, and the output is x to the second power when the input is larger than 4. So for that function, see if it's continuous when x equals 4, and then part b, see if it's continuous when x equals 1. And for both, we have to consider the three questions that we always consider when we see if a function is continuous at any given point. So part A, is the function continuous when x equals 4? So the first question is, does f of 4 exist? Can I put in a 4 and find an answer? And I can. The middle branch says, if the input's 4, the output is 10 minus x, or 10 minus 4, which would be 6, right? 10 minus 4 is 6. So f of 4 equals 6. So the second question is, does the limit of the function as the input approaches 4 exist? Now to check the limit, I need to use both the top and the bottom branch. To see the limit as we approach 4, we have to use input values slightly smaller than 4, like 3.999, and also slightly bigger than 4, like 4.0001. So as I start putting in values super close to 4 that are slightly smaller, like 3.999, the output gets very close to 4 plus 5. So it's getting close to 9. Now as I put in values that are slightly larger than 4, like say 4.001, the output gets very close to 4 to the second power, or 16. Now, they're going to two different things, so the limit does not exist. When I put in values slightly smaller than 4, I'm getting an output that's close to 9. Input values slightly larger than 4, I'm getting an output that's close to 16. So the limit does not exist. Does the limit exist? No. So I don't even have to consider the third question. I can say this is not continuous when x equals 4. Part B, is the function continuous when x equals 1? Same three questions. Does f of 1 exist? Can I put in a 1 and find an answer? Well, let's get rid of my 16 and my 9 from part A. I would use the top branch to use an input of 1. 1 is a smaller input than 4, so I'm saying use the top branch. And for that, I can just ignore the other two. Um, when I put in a 1, my output would be x plus 5, or in this case, 1 plus 5, which is 6. So in part B, the answer to number 1 is f of 1 equals 6. Next, does the limit of the function as the input approaches 1 exist? Well, yes. And again, I could find the limit using only the top branch. I don't have to use the middle or the bottom. Because as now, as I approach 1, I want to try values slightly less than 1, like 0.999, and values slightly larger than 1, 1.001. So that can all be done in the top branch, and for both slightly bigger and slightly smaller than 1, the output's going to get closer and closer to 1 plus 5 or 6. So the limit of this function as the input approaches 1 is also equal to 6. And then the answer to the third question, does the value of f of 1 equal the limit of the function as x approaches 1? Yes. The function and the limit are both the same. They're both 6. So for part b, the answer is it is continuous at x equals 1. So again, for part A, not continuous when x is 4. For part B, is continuous when x is 1. 